Okay, so this is going to be a very weird video, and probably pretty short, but let's just go ahead and jump in. I have a problem, and I think that it's not an unusual problem, but maybe it is an unusual problem. And that problem is that I've been using them too much. Now, I know the Joshua Lees out there are going to tell me that I should be using Emacs, but that's not the point of the video. This is not an Emacs video, this is a Vim video. And my Vim problem is that I want Vim everywhere. So I have Vim in Vim, obviously. I also have Vim in my terminal. I have Vim in my browser. And those are the three places where I spend most of my time when using my computer. So it should be unsurprising that when I use an application that doesn't have, use Vim keys, that I find myself using Vim keys even if they don't exist. So I can't tell you the number of times that I've tried to exit out of something using colon WQ or uh, shift ZZ. I do it all the time. Like the other day, I was sending a tweet in TweetDeck, and instead of hitting control enter, which is the keyboard binding to send it, I did colon WQ. <laughs> like I did that. I did it on Discord the other day too. Uh, I finished typing what I was typing into the, the text box and did colon WQ because I thought I was done. It, this is an interesting thing because Vim is so good that you want to use it everywhere and when you can't use it you find yourself using it anyways even though it's not there and I don't know how to get over that I don't know how to kind of meld those two worlds where Vim doesn't exist and Vim does exist so I guess the point of the video is is that I wanted to ask does anybody else do this? Because this is really, really weird. And I find myself doing it more often because as I talked about in a video a few weeks ago, when I was talking about making them better for writing, I've been using them even more than normal because I've moved all of my writing for work to Vim and Markdown. And now I use Vim keys for literally everything. Like all my navigation is with the Vim keys. All of my everything was in there with Vim keys and Vim commands like the, the colon WQ and search and replace and all that stuff is now done with Vim syntax and it bugs me now when I get to an, a program that requires text entry specifically that doesn't have Vim keys enabled so uh, I have a Vim problem and I don't I don't think this is a problem that I want to solve I mean I don't want to solve as I don't want to solve the problem as in I want to get rid of Vim. I'd much rather solve the problem as in introducing the way of doing Vim things with other things. So if I was able to send tweets using the Vim keys through TweetDeck, that'd be cool. If I could uh, send Discord messages with Vim keys. That's like an insert mode in Discord just is never going to happen, unfortunately. But it'd be, uh, it'd solve my problem, wouldn't it? So that that's that's my problem of the day, I, I guess, is, is what I did. Now, as like I said, this is going to be an uber short video. I don't even think I'm going to make it to five minutes. So uh, we'll call this a short, even though we know I'm uh, like pathologically or emotionally inept at creating short videos, like, like uber short one minute long videos. I'm pretty sure that when I first came up with this idea to talk about this, it was supposed to be um, like a, one of those YouTube shorts, but we all know that I can't limit myself to a minute. And uh, I, I've now babbled on to almost five minutes just talking about how long the video is. So anyways, that's it for me. I'm not going to keep going on. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to quit this video colon WQ.